everyone welcome back to carrots and olives my name is Brittany and today we are going to do a first impressions of these paint pens I bought these on Amazon and I have fallen in love with my paint pens from Archer and Olive they're in this container um, these are my new Archer and Olive paint pens and I will either show you some of the uh, unboxing of these and then these are my Posca paint pens as well. So I recently fell back in love with these. I purchased these like two years ago and hardly used them. But I'm using them now and I realized I need more color. So I was trying to find an alternative on Amazon that wasn't so expensive since Posca paint markers are a little bit on like the higher end of the spectrum of paint markers. So I found these and it seemed like there are a lot of good reviews, but I intend to use it only on paper. And I am using one of the Arteza um, like mixed media watercolor papers and I find that I like the way that they work on this paper. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so these arrived in next day, surprisingly enough, and they ran about $36. These are the extra fine which is okay with me. Um, one of the nice things about having the extra fine is that you can do a lot of detailed work and you get quite a few pens in here. So there's roughly um, 30, not roughly, there are 30 of these pens and they paint pens can go on many different surfaces. I know a lot of people who use paint pens for like coloring rocks, also coloring a lot of glass pieces. But like I had mentioned before, I am just going to be using it for art in my notebooks. So let's see, we have some instructions and a and we have a card with um, information on a free ebook with instructions to the paint and how to use them. So I am pretty confident that they work the same way as the Posca paints. I like how I can get so many colors in this set. I think if I were to buy these in the Posca brand, I would be running roughly twice the amount on Amazon. And I checked a couple of other places, but they don't seem to have a lot of them in. Most of them are sold out, so I'm hoping that these will work just fine for me. So here are just a couple of like artwork that I've been doing lately and I just love it I love it so I'm not sure where I should be doing these swatches maybe in the back yeah let's do them in the back okay so I'm probably going to speed through this but on the pen the size is pretty nice they're kind of on the shorter end not really long um, it does say to shake well with the cap on. Um, you have to prime the tip by pressing it against a piece of paper until the ink begins to flow. And this is a quick drying multi-surface and it says that they're water-based and I thought that they weren't water-based but I guess I'll have to look into that again.
tested out all the colors and I'm really happy with the pens I have. What I've noticed is that there are two black and there are two white. Also, I tested out the white. You can't really see it on here, but I did cross it through the red and black and it is very opaque. So I'm really happy about that. The pens, because they are fine, they don't like splatter that much unless you write at a very odd angle, but on average, like when I'm writing, it is a nice, clean, smooth experience. And they're actually really comfortable to write with. I was getting tired towards the end shaking them, but now that they're all ready to go, I think I'll be okay there. Um, I also like the fact that they do include a silver and an antique gold just something to spruce up like artworks or anything, you know, something like that. I don't normally like gravitate towards these, but I'm glad they have them because it's something that I can experiment with. And another thing that I was surprised is that these two purples here, this one and this one look exactly the same. These are them. This one is the first one. This one is the bottom one. And I, they look exactly the same to me. So I don't know what happened there. But other than that, all the other colors here are completely different from each other. Some of the names, like all these names I made up myself. I'm not really sure if blue gray, if this really looks like a blue gray. But at first when I was writing with it, it looked more like blue gray to me. And then I just made up Tiffany blue. Um, I guess this could be more of a light turquoise and that could be a, a dark turquoise. But um, my son's over here telling me to shh because I told him to shh. <laughs> so he's just going to keep talking and just making noises. So sorry about that. But overall, I'm going to say that I'm really excited about what I have here. I'm going to do a little bit of some artwork at the very end. The biggest thing that I'm worried about is the barrel size and how small, like how much paint is actually in the marker. Let me show you a comparison with the uni pen and you can see a big difference in size. Um, I've had these for almost two years and they still work. Some of them did bust on me, which was kind of random and weird, um, but overall, majority of mine still work from two years ago. I have a feeling that since I've started um, going back and coloring with these paint pens that I might run out of these. I'm nervous I might run out of these quicker than I would with the uni pen. And if that's the case, maybe it is best to reconsider buying these and possibly going with the larger quantity of the uni pen, even though they're twice as much as the if that makes sense, because even though they're twice as much, they may last longer and you may get more for your money with the uni pen. So it's just something I'm definitely going to have to try and experiment with and get back with you guys about it over time.
So I meant to draw this a little bit smaller in proportion. I think I've used almost all of my orange, which is unfortunate. Um, so yeah, like this is a five by five notebook. So for this to like feel like it's almost gone is kind of sad. And I think what I was worried about is something that is valid and probably means that I probably should spend more money on the Posca paint pens. I did do the like dark shadows with this one and this is the one I did with the main um, shirt. I will say that it didn't pick up a lot of the paper fibers when I was coloring on it, but I did find that the harder I pressed, the more splatters I got, so I had to just try to stay light. I know over time when your hand gets tired, you tend to press harder sometimes, and I found that when I pressed harder, I did get a lot of like little splatters. You may be, not be able to see it. But I do like how it puts down on paper. I just know that I need to be cautious of how big the artwork is going to be because I may not have enough of the paint for the from the pen. So um, other than that, I think it is a really, I think they are good for, I mean, it kind of depends on what you're going to use them for. In my case, um, I need to keep my artwork small. Uh, but overall, I felt like they're easy to use. They lay down color really nicely. You can overlap the color and it stays opaque. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!